VS Code makes it easy to change the language used in its user interface. Now, by default, if we detect that you are running on an operating system that has actually been configured for a different language, you will receive a prompt after installing VS Code that asks if you want to switch over and have VS Code use that language as well, and it will walk you through everything there. But you can also change the display language manually. So to do that, I'm going to open up the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac and say Display, and I want the Configure Display Language command here. Now, when I run this, I already have a few language packs installed, so it's displaying all of the language packs I have installed. I have one for German, one for Spanish here, and then the normal English one as well. So I, let's just go and select the German one for now. And you can see that I have to restart VS Code for this to take effect, but it will automatically relaunch VS Code at this point. And now all of my user interface, at least the parts that are coming from VS Code itself and not extensions, those are going to be displayed in German. So the title bar up here, the menu bar, all of the Explorer, the views down here. And even if I open things like the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P, you can see that all of the commands have been translated. If you find yourself stuck in a language that you're not familiar with, you can still, in the command palette, see the English translation below here. And you can actually just type in things like display, and it'll go and match on the English. So you're not uh, completely stuck if you find yourself in a language that you're not familiar with. But all of the main user interface elements should now be translated. Now, let's say that you actually want to go and install a new language pack. That's also very easy to do. So again, I'm going to open the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p and say display. And it's, again, just matching on the English text here. So I'm going to say configure display language, which is the normal command. And down here, there's an option to install additional extension packs. So this is in German right now, but this is just saying install additional language packs. When I select this, you can see here's a list of all of the available language packs for VS Code. So we have ones for Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, all of these language packs. Let's just go and install the Chinese one here. And it's prompted me whether or not I want to go and switch over to the uh, new, newly installed language pack here. So I'll say yes. Let's go and install that. And after installing this, you can see that now all of the VS Code UI has now been switched over to be in Chinese instead. So that's a quick look at the display language in VS Code. Again, if we detect that you're on an operating system that is using a specific language, VS Code will walk you through all of these steps. But you can always change the display language manually as well.